This is Annapolis, and these are the midshipmen who make up the brigade of the United States Naval Academy. These are their stories, full of their laughter, their heartache, their tragedies and triumphs. The stories of the men of Annapolis. This is the Severn River, and these are the United States Naval Academy yawls, looters, 44-footers. Each battalion maintains one of the fleet of 12, but this is the story of only one, the story of the windfall, and of the midshipmen who sailed her, and how in a moment of crisis they kept their heads and possibly saved a life. Stand by to come about. Come about! Stand by to break out the spinnaker! Break out the spinnaker! I want that spinnaker! Look out! Watch the moon! Size mutiny aboard, Rusty. Get into dry clothes, fellas. How's that, Buzz? Oh, Hobie and Miles here think we ought to throw down off the crew. Why? Just because we got a little wet? No, it isn't just because we got a little wet, but if you don't get foul up Erickson out of here, we're all gonna end up drowned. Do you want to win the battalion competition or do you want to be dry? Both! Hobie and Miles there think the only reason Don's on the crew is because he's your roommate, Rusty. Oh, now look, fellas, we've been through this before. Don's the best navigator in the academy. We need these last two races this weekend. I think Don can help us win them. So do I. I'm gonna leave it up to the crew. If you fellas don't want him aboard, you just say so. But say so now or shut up about it. Well, gee, Rusty, you know, I agree with you about his navigating, but why don't you keep him below deck? Oh, well, I'll go for that. Uh-uh, no, sir. Don's got deck duties just like everybody else. Hi, man. Boy, what happened? You look a little damp. Don. I want to have a nice long talk with you about the fundamentals of breaking out a spinnaker. Spinnaker? Oh, spinnaker. Yeah, I guess I've got a little bit to learn about. Well, I'm a navigator. You're a navigator? I'm wet! Well, do you want to win the battalion competition or do you want to stay dry? Uh, oh, you yeah. oh, 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 oh. Head Erickson. Oh, knock it off, Rusty. Deck works for plebes. Not on my crew. All right, look what happened today. Every time I get on deck, I foul things up. It's a good thing it was just practice. You have trouble getting through that hard head that in this man's academy, you've got to be able to do a lot of things, not just be a specialist in the things you like. Here it comes. Rusty rides again. That's right. Rusty rides again. Don, if it's the last thing I do, you've got a job to do on deck, and I'm going to see to it that you do it. Now, look, Rusty, just Go because... On. Come on, let's go out and take a look at the battalion competition board.
Come on, let's go. I think all we've got to do is take two second places in sailing to win. Only the 5th Battalion can still catch us. You know, in the four years we've been at the Academy, we haven't placed better than third in the battalion competition. Boy, that boxing team sure helped this year. Yeah, that wrestling team didn't hurt either. Now, if we don't foul it up, we're not going to foul it up. We're going to take two first, Saturday and Sunday. See you, men. I wish somebody else had said that. I'd feel a lot better about tomorrow. He'll be okay. He'll do his job. You haven't convinced me of a thing, Rusty. <laughs> Where's Don? Blow. The forecast for late afternoon is clear to partly cloudy with light prevailing westerly winds of from 8 to 10 miles per hour. The barometer is steady. Don. For tomorrow and Monday, there is no change indicated. The next report from the United States Weather Bureau will be at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I want to see you. Look, I've sailed this Chesapeake Bay so many times that I know... You I know, like the pool yeah. to McDonough, yeah. All the conditions to sail this race... First indicate... things oh, first. Wait a minute, this is more important. Not with me, up. Look, Rusty, will you listen Don, to me? Don, we sailed this course twice yesterday. I know, but I've got a different idea. The Weather Bureau says light winds. The windfall can outrun any yawl in the fleet in a light wind. So? So, instead of going to checkpoint one and two as planned, we go all the way to point deception. But it's longer. Yeah, but look, Rusty. When we go to checkpoint one, we're on the rip. We pick up the ebb and go five miles longer than any other boat on a straight line to point deception. Then as we round that boy, we pick up the flood tide and sail straight in. Well, if we can get to the shoals by 1100. Oh, easy. The only other boat we've got to worry about is the 5th Battalion's. She can't run with us. She's no good in a light wind. We'll run her into the water. Ha, <laughs> ha, Don, you are a genius. Now get topside. Come on. You keep clear of that spinnaker, but check out that gear like I told you to. Okay, hardhead. <laughs> big race arrived, and the crew on each of the yawls anxiously awaited its starting time. No crew was more intent on winning than the men of the windfall. There's a committee boat. Ready a boat!
the 45. Yeah, there's a Shoals buoy. 15 big, beautiful minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> Old Foul Up is sure the expert on this man's bay. Yeah, he's got his place. Hello, Vic. Stand by to come about. Boy, they're in for a big surprise. Ready about. Looks like we're in, Buzz. Nothing can stop us now. Well, it's a nice day. Let's sail it anyway. Okay. Besides, we need the points in the battalion competition. I'm going below to see the genius. Give him my compliments. Tell him it's good to have him aboard. Right. <laughs> to know? You want to know that we're turning the Shoals buoy at 1045? Nothing, Skipper. A mere nothing. <laughs> Do you want to hear that the flood tide is approximately two knots stronger than I anticipated? I heard. Yeah, but you didn't hear that the prevailing westerly has fallen off to practically nothing, which means... Now, don't tell me. Let me guess. Let's see. Fifteen. Three. About twenty-two minutes. Right, boy. Which means that we'll go by the restless just brains and ability, Skipper. And luck. There's point deception. Figures to about 22 minutes the way the tide's running and the wind's dropped. They were in. Ready to come about, Buzz. Ready to come about! Out of the port backstay! Come about! him right on the head. Easy, don't move him. We've got to. We've got to get him below and we've got to get help. How are we going to get help out in the middle of Chesapeake Bay? Rusty's all right. Yeah, it was a bad crack he got on the head. Why don't you go below and let me know how he is? I'll be right back. It could either be a concussion or a fracture. In either case, we've got to keep him quiet. I wish he'd come, too. The longer he's unconscious, the worse it is. We've got to get help. Right away. Now, we sure do. Don, have you got any ideas? Don's the last person in the world, I'd ask. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. In my book, you're no skipper, and that's what we need worse than anything else right now. You got it out, both of you. Look, we gotta think of Rusty, nothing else. Now, what are we gonna do? 
First of all, I think we ought to get Buzz down here. Yeah, oh, that's right. Buzz should be in on any decisions we make. Tell Jack to take the helm. Is our only consideration, right? It better be. Right. So what are we going to do to get help? Well, we're two good hours from the eastern shore. At least two hours. And that's no good. So we do get him to the shore. How do we get him to a doctor? If we can get him ashore, we'll find a doctor. There's got to be a better way. I've got an idea. It's a long shot. What is it, Don? Well, in this weather, we're four hours from the other yawls in the committee launch. Check. And about two hours to the eastern shore. So what's the idea, if it's any good? Is it Sharps Island? No. About 10.45, a base area contacted a destroyer off Windmill Point. Now, if we reverse our course, and we're lucky, we can cross the destroyer. About how long? Less than an hour. That's no good. Suppose the wind dies down, or, or suppose she changes her course. We can do it if we're lucky. Then she could radio the Naval Air Facility and have a helicopter come and pick up Rusty. What do you think? I'm against it. It's too risky. Buzz? Don, now don't answer fast. But this could mean life to Rusty. Do you think you can do it? If you do, I'll go along with you. If you don't, now's the time to say so. There just isn't any other way. Don, that's not the answer. If this won't work, any other way is better. If we can't contact that ship, we've wasted an hour and a half to two hours. And we'll still be two to three hours away from help. You've got to tell us yes or no. I can do it. Okay, let's go. Buzz? Yeah. How do we know he's right? We don't. And we won't know if he's right until we see that ship alongside. I've got to be right. You better be. right, we should meet her at 1300. should take, Don. Any change of rusting? Are the flares ready? We're doing everything we can. That ship should be off the port bow. Well, ten minutes one way or the other is... Suppose she changes course. Hold it, Don. We'll meet her, Hobie. 
We'll meet her. Well, we've still got margin for error. There she is off the port bow, right where she belongs. Prepare to send up a flare. I'm glad that doc said Rusty would be okay in a few days. He really had me worried. Come to 035 Magnetic. Rusty would want us to finish the race. So are the rest of the boys in the battalion, Don. I hate to think of that boxing team fighting his head off for nothing. Buzz? Buzz, you remember what you said about it not being my fault that Rusty got hurt? Well, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was my fault. If I'd checked that block as I should have, it wouldn't have happened. I fouled up. You're lucky. Rusty's almost as hard-headed as you are. Was hard-headed. Was. <laughs> okay, Todd. Was hard-headed. Don't just sit there. Come on, map out a course. We've got a race to finish. This is Annapolis, the United States Naval Academy, proud of its dignity, its history, its traditions, but most of all, proud of its men. Next week, we will bring you another story of the men of Annapolis.
Erickson was played by Rand Harper. Rusty by Preston Hansen. Buzz Thompson was played by Robert Keniston.